Good evening everyone, I'm forecaster Tyler Allender. We saw a couple of showers move on shore this morning along the coast, pushing inland this afternoon with a sea breeze affecting areas like Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte, up toward Northport, but that's only a few neighborhoods. Most of us were nice and dry today, and it was a great beach day, but you noticed the heat and humidity, it was still around. But there are some changes coming in the next couple of days, and I'll talk about that in the next couple of minutes. Now, the southeast satellite picture shows a cold front moving through, really moving unusually far south for this time of year, but don't worry, the cooler air is staying away. High, low temperatures rather overnight will be in the mid to upper 70s along the coast, a little cooler inland as they're away from that onshore wind. Again, the cooler weather Sunday stays to our north. Let's be real, it's summer here in Florida. Showers and storms are still in the forecast. We're giving you about a 30% chance of storms on Sunday, but it's going to be very similar to Saturday, just maybe one or two extra storms. The biggest storms in the afternoon will be inland, east of I-75 here along the coast. It's going to be great to go to the beach in the afternoon. It's going to be hot though, high temperatures in the low 90s, Maybe one exception, Rotunda, a high temperature of 89. Now you can see that cold front here on the national satellite picture. As it progresses toward the east and southeast, that's making things going to be very nice across the southeast as we go into the first part of next week. We will see some increasing moisture just a little bit across our neck of the woods, but not a washout like we saw earlier this month. Now the tropics are beginning to settle down a bit. Dorian, no more. The National Hurricane Center says as of 5 o'clock this afternoon, Tropical Storm Dorian degenerated into a tropical wave, and we no longer have to worry about it because the Saharan dust, strong wind shear, ripped this storm apart. There's a slight chance of redevelopment down the road, but that seems very unlikely. And of course, it's a reminder that we're still very early in the hurricane season, so stay tuned to SNN Local News all season long. If you're going to the beach or going boating on Sunday, westerly winds 5 to 10 knots, seas 1 to 2 feet. Your 7-day forecast shows the slight uptick in moisture as we go into the next work week. Most of the storms will be along the coast in the afternoon.